That all is not well at the ESCC is an open secret. Appearing in Parliament, the body language between the embattled ESCC chairman, his fellow commissioners and the secretariat communicated the tension and mistrust within the commission. Kinisu openly sidelined from the rest of his team. Eugene, we don't, the room is too small. Please come. The ESCC chairman is now blaming his woes on his colleagues at the commission. Kinisu told the Justice and Legal Affairs Committee that is being set up for ejection from office. Sources in the Justice and Legal Affairs Committee before whom Kinisu and the ESCC commissions and secretariat appeared today say Kinisu is increasingly pointing an accusing finger at the commission secretariat for working with outside forces to implicate him and subsequently force him out of office. Kinisu is accused of dealing in the controversial NYS deals through his family business, Esaki Limited. But the ESCC chairman claims there is no conflict of interest in the matter as he resigned from the company in 2008 and transferred his shares to his daughter. In an earlier statement to defend his record, Kinisu had indicated that he had resigned in 2015. The NYS transactions are being investigated by what is referred to as the multi-agency team. The ESCC chairman cannot exert any undue influence. Nonetheless, a petition to remove him from office tabled in Parliament states that records from the Registrar of Companies still shows Kinisu as a director of Esaki Limited. Reportedly, Kinisu told the committee the report on his firm's dealings with NYS was presented to the ESCC Secretariat on the 23rd of June, only for the Secretariat to inform him a week later on the 29th of the same month. Kinisu reads mischief during that period, that in fact, when he asked for that report by Bunge Lamuanainchi to be verified, the Secretariat had already sanctioned a probe against him and later leaked the report to the media. Kinisu feels a plot to set him up had already been hatched. The Justice and Legal Affairs Committee has now summoned the Commissioners and the Secretariat to appear before the Committee on separate debts to dig in on the matter. Sam Guinness, Citizen Live at 9.